Sticks and wood may not seem like the best wall decor, but wait, because we have blogger Audrey Keither here with us to show us how we can turn this into really a family project, which I am loving. Yep. So first and foremost, where did you get this idea? I am not sure. I did the first one a couple years ago. I want to say I maybe saw it on Pinterest. Okay. And then a week ago I did another one. So I kind of got inspired. I wanted to kind of go a little smaller, maybe a little more tribal. I love so, it. Yeah. Okay, so what do you do? Okay, so I went to my backyard. We have a ton of sticks laying around, so that was easy. Okay. I gathered maybe five, six sticks. And then some of them, you can either start painting on them, as you see, I did on a couple of these where they, you leave them as the regular wood color. Oh, cool, yeah. Um, or I actually spray painted a couple of them with spray paint, just I think it kind of adds a little bit of yep. fun and glam to it. And then the paint actually goes on a little smoother when you have a spray paint coat down, so. Good to know, yeah. that makes sense. If you want to actually, I'm gonna have you start painting on okay. this raw stick. You're which trusting kinda, me. I do trust you. I kind of okay. got a little start going on there, but okay. you just use some really inexpensive acrylic paint and just a brush. And you could paint on whatever kind of pattern you want. Should you could I use, use stripes. This brush? Yeah, sure. Okay. And here's another one if you if you Well, I didn't know couple. if I should mix the colors or not. That could be fun. And you could get your kids in on the action. My three year old actually made her own the other day. And, oh, you know, it's fun. It's a really fun little activity for them. So you said acrylic paint is what you need? Yeah. And they're usually like 50 cents a piece at any craft store. So, really, this project, as long as you have the paint on hand, it can practically be free. And if you have some string, so you basically just need string, acrylic paint, and some sticks. I kind of liked mixing the colors. Yeah, that was kind of a mistake a gone right. A purple action going on. Yeah, that was fun. Okay. So yeah, let's once it, cool. once your sticks dry. I usually do three, but you can do. I like odd numbers. You can do three, five. You could even do two if you'd like. So let's just say that stick were dry. We'd put it in this mix, but yes. we'll let it dry here. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to attach them with okay. your string. So okay, so you'll just take about about ten to twelve inch string here, okay. and you'll want you'll be trimming off the excess. So basically, you're just tying it around the stick here, and you want to do. I did triple knots because. The double knots I noticed were kind of coming undone. Yeah, and they're kind so, of heavy, right? Yeah, yeah, especially this guy, that's a really heavy. I'm surprised it's lasted two years. So, like so, and you'll do it on the other side as well. Nice. Really easy. Once you do one, it gets really easy. You can do it while you're kind of watching TV even. And I love this because you can really put them anywhere. You were saying you have some in, in your kid's bedroom Yep, too. I have one in my kid's bedroom, I have one in my bedroom, and then I have one in the dining room. So I kind love of been that. on stick making. You're feeling very like I am. nature I am. And so is then that a once, word? I don't know. Sure. Okay, so yeah, it is You today. always come up with the fun words. So you'll take this. <laughs> Great, and then, now I'm known for that. <laughs> awesome, okay. And then you'll just do the same thing to the stick above it. Okay. So triple knot that. And then I always kind of hold it up and just see kind of how we're looking here just kind of keep oh. them and then so when you do your next one this is when you kind of loop your next one through oh, this guy here. interesting and so then you're gonna be trimming off all the excess too when you're done so it'll look much nicer okay so then basically you're just constantly looping up to the next stick um, I would probably have like zigzaggy sticks. Yeah, so you have might, to be might careful. have been that way, and it's it, it's kind of nice to hold it up while you're going. That way, you can kind of correct those things. Is so. there a certain type of like string you should use? That you can use twine. I really like this because I like the little sparkle of gold in it, but yeah. it's also kind of thinner, so it's easier to kind of move around Maneuver. if needed. Yeah, my twine's nice. a little a little harder, so it's not as not as flexible. I no, I I really love this. The whole family can get involved. It's mm -hmm. so cheap. And um, if it doesn't turn out, you can always go in the backyard exactly. and get some more sticks. I have about 10 more sticks ready, <laughs> just in case. So see, and then once, this, obviously you see I did it crooked, but if you do it um, as you go, you kind of- I kind of like the crooked, yeah, more it character. it adds a little fun to it. Yeah, yeah. and, and you so just take that's your scissors. awesome. Yeah, and this could be a really good spring break activity to keep the kids busy. Ooh, yeah, so, yeah parents are always looking to absolutely. keep kids busy. How awesome. Long week. Audrey, thanks so much. You're welcome. Great ideas, Gina.